Okay, now we're going to thank God for all our blessings. Thank God for all our answer to prayers and how He takes care of us and our families and how much He loves us. And I thank you, God, for Arlen, and I thank you for watching after her mother. God, just give her peace and give her your, give her your strength. We thank you now for Arlen. And we thank you for Melba and her surgery. Her test come out good. Well, now she's got a good, clean heart. And now we thank you, God, for Bernadette and her television for two weeks. And we thank you that we can all be here. And we thank you to be with Betty today. She's on the cancer walk, which she felt like she should do today, which I thought was a good thing. So we thank you now for all you're going to do for all of us today and all week. And we're going to remember what we learned today and we're going to take it to heart. We're going to walk it out. But we are gathered together here to be as one. We are going to unite as one. We can pray for each other, build each other up, help each other. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today, I don't know if this is going to be a good or bad thing, but I just felt like we should have a little bit of a lesson on obedience. We've talked about trust. We've talked about being thankful. We've talked about faithfulness and all. And now I think we better. I thought maybe I'll talk about a little bit of obedience. You know, the first meeting was it? The first Bible study was not obedience. Was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. But I heard this and I thought this sounded good. If we don't put the right fire of fuel in our fire, what's it do? And if we don't put the right kind of fuel in us, what do we do? And go, 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 we don't want to go. And we don't give out the things we need to give out. Because, you know, we might be the only Bible that people see. We don't know. We don't know who's watching us, what they're thinking of us. And sometimes we have to be a Bible. They're Bible. And so we got to not be clump, clump, clump along. We've got to know where we're going. We've got to know what we're saying. We've got to know from God's Word what's the right thing and the wrong thing to do. Amen. We've, all been, we've all been Christians long enough that we should be pretty well know what, you know, the right steps. But even that, we have to remind ourselves. We are walking we are really, when we come to Jesus and got saved and born again, we are walking under a new name. Under Jesus' name. Because we're his family now. When you get married to somebody, you take their name. We got married to Jesus, so we took his name. So let's look at um, 1 Corinthians 2. Sarah did not obey 
Well, she did laugh at first. She said, I'm not going to have a baby. What's the matter with this thing? But she did go ahead and have a baby at that old age. And she obeyed. And she had uh, her baby. We're going to look at Hebrews 11. This goes to show the people did obey. And God told them to obey. That's what I'm trying to say. Hebrews 11, 11. Every priest stands daily, ministering and offering time after time the same act sacrifice which never can be taken. Hebrews 11, 11. Is that where I'm at? No, I got. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm my, my Bible's crazy. It yeah. says eleven years, yeah. but it ain't. <laughs> okay. By faith, even Sarah herself received ability ability to conceive, even beyond the proper time of life, so she considered him faithful, who had promised. She, she considered God faithful. He promised her baby. Therefore, there was born even of one man, and then as good as dead at that, for heaven is numbered, and I can't read it. You want to read it, my eyes are running together. 11, 11? Yeah. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child, though she was barren and was too old. She believed that God would keep his promise. And so a whole nation came from this one man yeah. who was as good as dead. A nation with so many people that, like the stars on the sky and the sand on the seashore, there is no way to count them. Yeah, and God promised Abraham. You know, the sand and the stars and seas, that's what she said. She did it, even at her old age, she, she did what she was told. And if Moses wouldn't obey, the Red Sea would have never opened up. If he wouldn't have put his, the thing down like God told him to, it wouldn't have opened up. And, um, and Moses did what he was told. But let us obey as it is, as, as it is told us. We should walk like they walk. Moses, Sarah. Obey. God tells us to do it might look crazy, it might not be the crazy, it looks like the, the thing to do, but just try to walk that way. Practice that. And I told Pastor when Thursday night when he brought me home, that's what I'm praying for. When God speaks to me, I want to go and do it. I don't want to mess around. I want to do it. He said, well, just keep praying. I'm sure God will find something for you to do. <laughs> and, uh, Moses wouldn't have did what he was told. The Red Sea would not opened up. And I don't know what I got here. I got 11, 29 at most of these years. I don't know. Let me see what You want me to read it? Yeah. It was by faith that the people of Israel went right through the Red Sea yeah. as though they were on dry ground. But when the Egyptians tried to follow, they were all drowned. Yeah. See, Moses wouldn't have listened, wouldn't have obeyed. They never would have got through there. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Look what obedience does for you. Mm -hmm. Then later, let us obey as they does no And then we are drawn away by temptation. Let's look at James 1.13. Moses didn't only go there. He had the rough choice and he couldn't go in promise land, don't forget. No, none of them were perfect. That's what I like about God. He shows us when the perfect and the unperfect. James 1 13. When, the, when God says it, he means it. And he means for us to do it just like he said. It's James at the 1 13. Okay. Right after oh, Right after, yeah. Okay. 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 You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah you got a good boy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. like that Bible. And remember, 
when you are being tempted, do not say, God is tempting me. God is not never tempting to do wrong. And he never tempts anyone else. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when the sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. If he has a reason why we should be a baby, it doesn't. If we're not, it'll lead to death. No, it's just a sin of death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are to walk our lives in Christ in obedience. And we'll go to First Peter one. Can we read it? Mm -hmm. 